Hi all and welcome back to the channel for another update on the coin pusher rebuild. As you can see today it's in a very unusual position. It's actually lying down on its back. The reason it's lying down is I want to show you one of the weaknesses I've got with the coin pusher and something that's arriving today that's going to fix that problem. If we take a look at the edge all around here, up close, you'll see there's a lot of damage to the wood. So that's happened where it's been shifted around on floors, on carpets. It's not the easiest thing to slide around anyway. It's quite bulky. So what I plan on doing is reinforcing the bottom, putting four casters on it, lockable casters, so you can put it into position, lock it in place, and that will stop it moving. So while this video doesn't cover the working of the pusher, it does give you an insight into how you can make it more maneuverable at home. So I'm gonna run some wood across to reinforce the base and give it something solid to attach the casters to. I think the casters support up to 200 kilos of weight, so they should be ample for what we need this for. So let's get on with it. Measuring the inside width of the pusher base, I'm going to cut two pieces of wood to attach the casters to. These need to be 480 millimeters wide and cut from a piece of four by two. The internal gap front to back, if you need additional bracing, is 590 millimeters. This appears to be sufficient though. I would not recommend using anything less than a four by two because you need the thickness to support the weight of the pusher and the casters. With the wood cut, I position the two pieces at the back and the front of the pusher. Peel back the Mario stickers as best I can to prevent damage from the screws and I screw the supports in place. Adding enough screws to secure the structure to take the weight is important. Flip it onto its side and reinforce the rear support by screwing it to the existing back panel support 4x2 as shown. I use some longer and larger decking screws for this. These pieces of wood will also make the structure more stable. The casters came in a pack of four with two standard and two casters with a brake. This is useful for keeping the pusher stable in its final position. It also means it can be moved around when needed. Simply take a caster and screw it into the corner of the new wood supports we just added. I have set the two brake casters up diagonally opposite to maximise the hole potential, one on the front and one on the back. Now lifting from the rear, simply pop it back upright onto the casters to test out the movement. I would say that is a job worth doing and makes a massive difference to its portability around the house and the locking casters keep it nice and secure against the wall. So that was a pretty quick and painless fix if I'm perfectly honest and it's made a, a massive difference to the pusher. Obviously now we have full maneuverability of it, we can move it around nice and easy before it would take normally two people to move it or I'd struggle on my own so really pleased with that. Some extra components have turned up today which will allow me to put new features onto the coin pusher which include an Arduino board so we can add some new features to it, electronic features. Uh, these will include putting micro switches onto the back board because a coin passes and touches that it will trigger a multi-coin release and flash some lights. So that's to come. But next, I'm going to work on the pusher mechanism itself. So part three will be how I've repaired the coin pusher mechanism. At the moment, the components are wearing it out. So I've got a new idea that I'm going to try. So stay tuned for that. If you like what you've seen today, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel where you will find other coin pusher tutorials that I've made when I've constructed this. Thanks again for watching today and see you soon. Bye.